Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about different types of birth control methods and options that are available. I'm Dr. Christina Hammer with Vibrancy VIP Med Clinic. Let's dive on in. First off, it's important to note that there are several different types of birth control methods. These methods include hormonal methods, which contain both synthetic versions of estrogen and progesterone, the non-hormonal methods, which do not contain any hormones, as well as barrier methods, which physically block the sperm from reaching the egg. Intrauterine devices, IUDs for short, which are small T-shaped devices that are inserted into the uterus. Let's talk about some hormone-free birth control methods. These include a copper IUD. This type of IUD is hormone-free and works by releasing copper ions that prevent fertilization. It's highly effective and can last for up to 10 years. Condoms. Male or female condoms are a popular non-hormonal option that work by physically blocking the sperm from reaching that egg. A diaphragm. This is a dome-shaped device that is inserted into the vagina before sex and covers the cervix, preventing sperm from entering. It must be used with a spermicide to be effective. A cervical cap. This is a small silicone cup that is inserted into the vagina and fits over the cervix to prevent sperm from entering. It must also be used with spermicide to be effective. Now, let's talk about hormonal birth control methods. These include a combination pill. This is a pill that contains both estrogen and progesterone and is taken daily. It works by preventing ovulation and thickening cervical mucus to block the sperm. It can also help with acne as well as menstrual cramps that many women experience. The progesterone only pill. This is a pill that only contains progesterone and it is taken daily. It works by thickening the cervical mucus to block the sperm and sometimes preventing ovulation. It can also be used while breastfeeding. The patch. This is a small adhesive patch that contains both estrogen and progesterone and is worn on the skin. It works similar to the combination pill and is changed once a week. The vaginal ring. This is a small, flexible ring that is inserted into the vagina and contains both estrogen and progesterone. It works similar to the combination pill and is changed once a month. Depo-Provera. This is an injectable shot that contains progesterone and is given every 12 weeks. It works by preventing ovulation and thickening of the cervical mucus to block the sperm. The implant. This is a small flexible rod that is inserted into the arm and contains only progesterone. It works by preventing ovulation and thickening the cervical mucus to block the sperm. It also can last up to three years. It's important to note that all birth control methods come with potential benefits, risks, and possible side effects. Some of the benefits of hormonal birth control methods include more predictable periods, less menstrual cramps, as well as decreased risk of certain cancers. However, they can also come with risks such as blood clots, strokes, as well as an increased risk of breast cancer. Some of the side effects can also include mood changes, weight gain, as well as nausea. Now, the non-hormonal birth control methods can also come with their own set of benefits and risks. For example, the copper IUD can cause heavier periods and cramping, while condoms can reduce that sensitivity during sex. So, in the end, it is very important to discuss all your options with your healthcare provider to determine which method is best for you. Now, please leave any questions or comments below on the experience you had with any of these birth control methods. Feel free to reach out to me, Dr. Christina Hammer, in my contact information below, or go ahead and visit the Vibrancy VIP Med Clinic website. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you found the value to our content, and we'll see you next time. Bye.